We thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for the transformation that is taking place in the world. We know that by the reason of this event, multitude will be drawn to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, we saturate this atmosphere by the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus over the network. We command every activity of darkness to cease in the name of Jesus. Mangradiga baga donga boko sika pala gima nama oroko tina gima laba diga usanae. Derende skosha lambre kida sokotanige recte sabe lemi niko bardine kosta biga sholamane keno zoba yeno mai. Angels of God, we ask that you take charge of the network in the name of Jesus Christ. Fathers, many that are listening to me right now, let your word bring direction to them. Let your word bring precision to them. Let your word bring comfort to them. Anyone that is sick under the sound of my voice, I decree the healing power of God to locate you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody put their hands together for Jesus right now? If you are live with me in the studio here, can you put your hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I want us to take our pen wherever you are take your bible take your books your notebook as we look into god's word this morning and this morning let's be seated those are the studio here this morning we'll be looking at the mystery behind the communion the mystery behind the communion the word communion is not new to many of us holy communion that's what i'm saying what is in it Communion is not a religious observance. It is a holy time of fellowship with God. Communion is not a religious fatigue. It's not a religious ordinance. It is a holy time of fellowship with God. Matthew, Mark, Luke all talks about this event. Matthew, Mark, Luke. They talked and paid special attention to this holy event. I want us to turn our Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 26, quickly. Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. Ngraga bangla biga musa pardenamai. Don't forget before us here, we are trying to dissect what is in communion. What is in communion? Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. I want us to read louder together. I want to go. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body. Somebody shout his body. As they were eating, he took bread, he broke it, and he gave them to eat. A man was giving them bread to eat, and he was calling it his body. That established the fact that there is a mystery behind communion. Jesus never spoke foolishly. Jesus never spoke callously. He took bread, he broke it, he gave it to them. He said, eat, this is my body. And that, that very night was the night that he was betrayed. When he did that. It was the very night that it was betrayed. This was a holy event in response to the commandment by Moses to memorize an event named Passover. You know, there was an event that took place in Egypt. The children of Israel were in bondage for 430 years plus. And God said several signs. Nine several signs. But Pharaoh was still adamant to let the children of Israel go. But after God sent the last plague, which was the tenth one, there was a command before that plague was sent. And what was the command? God told them, he said, take a lamb, a male lamb, a male lamb, not a female one, a male lamb, a 
and kill it and put the door the blood on your lintel he said because there's a night coming we are going to send the last plague to egypt and when pharaoh see this plague he will trust you out he will release you to go now listen to this they kill the lamb that night they used the blood and they ate the flesh and the same thing exactly what god spoke to them happened and they call it the passover lamb the passover what that is in the new testament jesus is our passover lamb jesus is our passover lamb the night that jesus was to be betrayed he knew that he's going to be killed very shortly as they were in table eating and as they were eating jesus took bread that bread symbolizes body and break it remember the body of jesus was broken for us isaiah 50 i want us to isaiah 53 if you start reading from verse 1 to 5 Isaiah 53 from verse 1 to 5. Put it on the screen media. Isaiah 53 from verse 1 to 5. Oh, Brata Salamato. Now, Isaiah 53, 1 to 5 said, Who had believed our report, and to whom is the harm of the Lord revealed? Verse 2. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground he had no form nor comeliness and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him verse 3 quickly he is despised and rejected of men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and we hid us it were our face from him he was despised and was esteemed enough. Verse 4. Surely he had bore our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Stricken by God and afflicted. Verse 5. That's where I'm going. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was what? Upon him. With his strife, we are what? We are healed. To the strife. He said, with his strife, we were healed. Now look at it. Jesus was talking to the disciples and he gave them his body the flesh the bread and he called it his body this is my blood that is shared for the remission of sin quickly as we progress who can partake of the communion because a lot of people have been having issues with this communion something who can partake of a communion Luke chapter 22 verse 19 quickly Luke chapter 22 verse 19 who can partake of the communion and he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them saying this is my body which is given for you these two in remembrance of what of me now who is qualified to partake of this communion one don't forget he said do this in remembrance of me therefore all believers may receive communion or the lost supper at the instruction of jesus 
who is qualified to partake of this communion all believers all believers as far you are a child of god you are qualified to partake as far you have accepted jesus as the lord and savior of your life you are qualified all believers who is a believer let's start from the who is a believer because a lot of people don't know who a believer is who is a believer one a believer is a man that believed in jesus and confessed the lordship of jesus over his life that was who a believer is and that is what qualifies you to make heaven a man that believed in Jesus and confessed the lordship of Jesus over his life. Romans chapter 10 verse 10. Quick, put it on the screen media. Romans chapter 10 verse 10. Romans chapter 10 verse 10. Quickly. Thank you, Lord. Let's read quickly for with the heart man believeth unto what righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto what salvation a believer is a man or a woman that have been saved that is all believers are qualified to partake to what? To partake. All. All believers. All believers. Praise the Lord. That, now, that established the fact. Who can partake of the communion? All believers. Somebody say all believers. Now, let me read something here. The Bible does not instruct that there is a set time or place to partake in, in this memorial that is that established the fact where are we to partake of this communion anywhere for those viewing at home anywhere you can partake of it in your house you can partake of it in your store you can partake of it in the church that is there's no stipulated place that is designated where you can partake of the communion Praise the Lord. Is that making sense to somebody here? First of all, who is qualified to partake? All believers. Where are you to partake it? Anywhere. Somebody say anywhere. Now, thirdly, these are questions that people ask. How should I receive the communion? How should I receive the communion? Now, Apostle Paul gave some instruction to believers in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. Let's read those instructions. Those were some of the instructions that Paul gave. 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 26. How should you partake of the communion? 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 23 to 26. For I have received of the Lord that which I also deliver unto you, that this, the Lord Jesus... The same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Verse 24. And when he had given thanks, that is, how should I partake of the communion? You have to give thanks. Hello? When he has given thanks, he broke it and said, take it. This is my, this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me now listen to this i want you to establish in your heart that every time we break communion we are remembering the covenant that jesus had with the church and that covenant inside that covenant sickness is not part of it is a re-establishment of the covenant inside that covenant is no fear inside that covenant is no virus Am I speaking to a church right now? 
He said, do so in remembrance of me. Verse 25. Verse 25. After the same manner, also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. The New Testament in my blood. Now look up everyone. I want us to understand the word testament. So that we can get what Paul is saying here. What is testament? The word testament is a covenant. Now don't forget. Before Jesus said. This is the cup. Of the new testament. Before that time there was an old testament. There was an old covenant. And in that old covenant. You are judged based on what you do. But in this new testament, new covenant, you are judged based on what Jesus did. Am I talking to somebody here? Now, he now said to them, this is the cup of the new testament, of the new order. That is, once we partake of his blood, we remind of ourselves that we are part of the new order. Somebody say, I'm part of the new order. And in the new order, there is no sickness. In the new order, there is no disease. In the new order, there is no fear. That's why I said, he has not given to us the spirit of fear into bandage. That is, the spirit of fear leads to bandage. That is, the spirit you have this season is not the spirit of fear. He said, but you have received the spirit of love and of sound mind, whereby we call Abba, Father. Do you understand what I'm saying here? That is the New Testament. The New Covenant gives you the license to call God Father. Am I talking to somebody here? He said you have received. Whereby you call Abba Father. The spirit you have received is the spirit of love. That is why this season is a season to show love. Am I talking to someone here? That is our nature. To show love. You have received the spirit of love. You have received the spirit of sound mind whereby you call Abba Father Abba Father in this new testament in this new covenant you now have access to God you now have access to God you now have access to God he said the same night he asked them to drink of the cup do you know what the cup is inside the cup is his blood now you are being initiated you are being initiated into a higher life a life that is superior to sickness a life that is superior to disease a life that cannot go to hell am i talking to a church here you understand what i'm saying don't be afraid of hell. there's a life in you and that life can go to hell you can't carry the life of god and take it to hell Am I talking to somebody here? You can't carry the life of God and take it to hell. He said every time you do this, it shows that you are part of me. You are part of what? Oh, Takobrahan Zakatudehmai. It shows that you are part of me. You see, you, you can't see. He said whatsoever is born of God, overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. See, communion is not something you just take by sensory orientation. It's something you take by faith. He said, this is the victory. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even my faith. <laughs> Somebody lift up your right hand and say, I'm a word overcomer. Say, Lord, I say, I'm a word overcomer. Say, I'm a word overcomer. I have overcome sickness. Say, Lord, I have overcome sickness. I have overcome disease. I have overcome infirmity. I have overcome coronavirus. You have overcome. You have overcome. You have overcome. You won't overcome. You have overcome. When Jesus overcame, you overcame. Am I speaking to a church here? He said, drink ye all, not drink some. That is when you are taking the communion. And we are looking at how you partake of the communion. You drink all the blood. You drink it. I've not gotten to where I'm going to show you the benefit there. I'm showing you how you should partake in it. You drink all. This year do. As often as you drink it. Ah, 
<laughs> you see, the word as often means you should do it often. You should do it often. Not once in a while. Often, 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 often. You see, that is the greatest verse in church. That is the greatest. You are watching me online. That is the greatest. He says, as often, <laughs> as often you do this. Ah, come on, Sobrahana man. Now, what happens as often you do this? As often you do this, it's in remembrance of me. Now, listen. What's about him? Let's look about Jesus a bit. It's in remembrance of me. That is of my victory. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. Put it on the screen. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. Quickly. It's in remembrance of me. It's in remembrance of my victory. It's in remembrance of my triumph. As I decree upon everyone watching online. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Victory is your portion. Studio, I thought you say, my victory is your portion. I said, victory is your portion. Nothing can stop our victory. I said, nothing can stop our victory. Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. Let's read. And let the peace of God do what? Okay. one body in one what we are part of his body let me show you something about the body of christ about jesus you don't understand now you have a full body if your hand is paining you does it affect your body it affects every part of you am i right you want to feast the hand that is paining you if you are part of the body anything that hurts you hurts jesus am i speaking to somebody here Anything that hurts you, hurts Jesus. Anything. That's why Jesus will do everything possible to keep you in health. To keep you in health. That is how should I partake of the communion? You take it with seriousness. You take it with seriousness. Now let me show you something I wrote here. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup you are announcing the death the victory the barrier the resurrection the triumph of satan over the powers of darkness did you hear what i said every time you eat the flesh every time you drink of his blood you are announcing to satan to disease that Jesus suffered all. Jesus paid all. And you are aware of it. Am I speaking to somebody here? That is why you don't take it carelessly. You don't take it shabbily. You take it with joy and celebration. Giving thanks unto the Father. You take it with thanksgiving. You take it with celebration. Hello. There is no disease communion can handle. There is no, I've not seen. I've not seen. Do you know why? Do you know why? When Jesus came here, he up, he, he, when he, he was to finish his work, he died. The Bible said when he died, he went to hell. And what did he go to do in hell? He went to fight. And he fought and he won. Now, after he won, he went to heaven among those things he went to heaven he presented his blood and his blood was qualified for the redemption of man am i talking to somebody here and on earth he showed to the whole world and said it is finished that is nowhere no matter where the disease came from be it from hell be it from the atmosphere the blood has the answer Am I speaking to a church here? The blood has the answer. The blood has the answer. Lift up your right and say the blood has the answer. Shout it louder than that here. Shout it like a Christian here. Yeah. I thought you would say one more time. That is the blood has what? The answer. Sala broho sabala. Now quickly. Let's look at some few things here. 
that will be a blessing to you what is in the communion john 6 54 to 55 john 6 54 to 55 john 6 are you getting blessed john 6 54 to 55 let's read whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had internal what life <laughs> You see, there are two things we are going to look at in this scripture we're reading. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had internal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Now, the things I the two things I want us to check out here is internal life, and I will raise him up. He said, Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has internal life, sir. Now quickly, what is internal life? Let's start from there. Internal life is the very life of God. Internal life is the life that cannot be sick. You can't kill internal life. It's internal. It's his from God. Am I talking to a church here? You see, a man that has internal life is not afraid of coronavirus. I'm telling you the truth people have made us feel that this gospel is not real but the bible talked about that the, the gospel is the power of god unto salvation to save if the gospel the word gospel means good news too good to be true do you understand what i'm saying here and the word of god is the gospel the word said whosoever eateth my flesh Ah. and drink catch my blood has he didn't say he's going to have he already has do you understand what i'm saying here that is the cure to disease you already have internal life has internal life has internal life has internal life internal life is higher is superior superior to hiv superior to cancer superior to fibro superior to leukemia superior to any kind of disease name it whosoever eat it my flesh and drink it my blood that is you are inoculated you are you are infused see what gives you the internal life is his flesh and his blood that is your dna your blood group is not changed you are not the ss you are not the as you are the blood group of jesus christ you share the same blood group with jesus christ am i speaking to a church right now whosoever i have eaten that is the communion has the capacity to keep you forever keep you forever he that eated of this bread shall live forever forever sir he that eated the bread that is you carry the bread and lift it up say father eat to live forever <laughs> father eat to live forever father eat to live forever somebody say father eat to live forever say louder say father eat to live forever that is the bread hello that's why you shouldn't eat it in sin because you can eat it and live in sin forever <laughs> i eat and live for what it will live forever you cannot die death is far from us lift up your right hand say death is far from us say louder say death is far from us I choose life I choose health I choose life I choose health I choose vitality I choose strength I choose life I choose health I cannot die I'm also oh Gradagaba what is in the coming on last last we begin to round up the spiritual white capsule that is the soldier of the body 
spiritual soldier of the body is in the communion you know the soldier of your body is your white blood cell the spiritual white blood cell is in the communion once you take it your spiritual you are inoculated you are strengthened you are vitalized you are quickened you are restored and rejuvenated do you understand what i'm saying now what is in the blood what is in communion the blood group of jesus is there the blood group of jesus is there that is you can use this communion to change your blood group serve it to excess children they will convert to aa they will convert to as you can program your blood group that is why I decree in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the name of jesus christ of nazareth life is coming to you i said 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 life is coming to you rise up on your feet and pray in the holy ghost right now Jagara palaka bada kabra kada nen kretege sopra hala mombra kilo mante ziga recto saka proke tila bora tena kosana recto se sopra hola mota giron zakelo beria moronteza recto zaki haba la moza recto zizi karando koska liga baranai jangratele gerato konza kilo pro hala hino jelengratila karo tonza kilo marado zika la bahari kamara Life is coming to you. 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 Life is coming to you.